I'm Ron Patterson with Utah State University Extension in Carbon County. These high tunnels will hold the heat. When it gets sunny, uh, it'll get hot, very hot inside the high tunnel. So we need to have some ventilation. There are different stages of ventilation. If it's a cold but sunny day outside, you still need to have the ability for the heat to escape. Otherwise, you'll cook your plants. The first stage of ventilation would be to open up this vent on the doors. I have strings. I actually prefer to let these drop all the way down, so, but the hinges aren't set right on these. But anyway, th that will allow that heat that's building up inside the high tunnel to come out, but not get too cold. The heat, the sun is going to keep building up. Now, if it's a cloudy and cold day, you might be able to leave these closed, but, but around here, the sun comes out and then cloud, and it's only usually partially cloudy during the, during the cold months, and so, I will even, even on a, a semi-cloudy day, will we'll leave these open during the day and, and then of course you shut them at night so that you don't get the cold air coming in. But if, if it's a semi-cloudy day, then I, I open these up. If it's a sunny day, I open these up. If it's not a cold day, so that's stage one of ventilation, uh, of heat ventilation. The sa stage two, um, you, could, you could open the side curtain with these open and that's a little bit will draw out a little bit more air or you can open up the doors on the ends of the high tunnel. I have a latch back here that I hook to keep the door ho holding open and that will allow uh, quite a bit more. So if it's a sunny and cool day like 25 to 35 degrees you might want to open these doors no, not on 25 to 35 degrees. If it's a cool day, like uh, your low 30s, then you would want to open the doors during the day, especially on a sunny day. A cold day would be below freezing. You don't want to open the doors when it's, when it's freezing outside, but you do want to have some ventilation to keep things going. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, uh, this is kind of stage two then, and then you can lift up the side curtains as we go. So stage three would be, to lift up the side curtains and you can lift up part of it or the whole thing on one side. So I'll show you how that we how we do that lifting up the side curtains and then the full ventilation would be opening up the side curtains on both sides. So I'll show how I do the the side curtains for partial ventilation and then for full ventilation. So the keeper strap for the, the side curtain is basically I just use a piece of twine and a one inch S hook that I pinch this side here, the one end shut, and that hooks into the eye screw that we've got attached outside. It's tied to the rib on the inside, and then it'll hook in there, so that keeps it in place and it's worked really well. While we're talking about ventilation, we need to talk also about wind direction. I had uh, 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 an incident with the wind this spring. Uh, this is the first time I've had this bad of a situation with this particular high tunnel. I've had the, usually the winds from this area come from the northwest or the southwest. Well, this year they've kind of been coming from the east. They haven't been really strong, but I did lift up, uh, use the, usually I'll do my first stages of ventilation lifting on the east side. We had some sort of a microburst or twister or something come through here and it blasted through this east side and because I've got the west side closed it hit the end wall actually kind of tore apart my end wall so I didn't have time that time to get it filmed I was in a hurry had some family things and then trying to keep the plants protected but I I've had to reconstruct the end wall this is the least amount of damage I've had done with a windstorm like that I've had whole high tunnels blasted apart before but this one has withstood at least that uh, strong winds it also, the neighbors have got a, a dog house over there with big rocks on plywood. It lifted the plywood off from the, the dog house and it stripped up strips of, uh, of drip tape that's semi buried. It was kind of half buried and half not buried and it stripped it right up out of the ground and laid it straight across the neighbor's yard to the north. So it was a pretty powerful wind that came through. So I'm I'm pleased that I didn't sustain more damage, a little bit discouraging when it happened, but you need to be paying attention to wind direction when you do your ventilation. If the wind's coming from the, if your strong winds are, are very consistent, coming from the east or the west, north, south, whatever, that's the side that you want to leave 
down on the windward side so that you don't get that ballooning effect of the wind coming in, pushing things up and trying to escape at the end of the high tunnel. So I would be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the capricious nature of the wind around here on our, in our area. Um, so, so pay attention to the wind direction when you do your ventilation. So what this wind did is it busted out that end wall. You can see that that's not in place and it snapped several of these twines and it actually lifted two of these T-posts, one on the end wall and one here on the corner, lifted them clear up out of the ground. They've been fastened down to the ground, set solid, and that wind just, just pulled them right up out of the ground. It busted apart the, the end wall, so I had to reconstruct it. But it, it pulled up my stakes, or it snapped the line, and then you can see with all the exposed ends of T-posts uh, and everything, it kind of tore the plastic. Now, for the most part, I can kind of patch this up or pull it together, and it should be fine. The little holes are pretty easy to patch. These bigger holes, I have to come up with a way to kind of keep them covered. But you just have to be careful when you're, when you're ventilating. Well, sometimes you can't plan for everything, so it happens. And you just, uh, just keep going on. I, this, it's held up quite well, but, but uh, another thing to think about when you're doing your ventilation. Here we have the high tunnel finished. I've got my trellises put up and plants planted. I'm ready to have some fun in my high tunnel in my garden.